No te roro, naku te roro, ka ora ai te iwi. With your food basket and my food basket, the people will thrive. By working together in community, we can all flourish. I'm Sophie, a delegate for Aotearoa New Zealand as part of this year's Voices of the Future. Throughout these last few weeks, I have been feeling the huge honour and responsibility that's come from being a part of this Voices community we've created online. 124 young people from across the 21 economies have been embracing, connecting and collaborating virtually to draft a youth declaration. We have brought our baskets to the table across time zones grounded in our various contexts and cultures to create a shared vision for our economies, where we see people and the planet being able to thrive. We have celebrated our differences and also the values that unite us. We've explored four key themes centred around the biggest challenges, aka opportunities, in our midst right now. Through drafting sessions, we heard perspectives from various economy speakers, delegation spokespeople and lead drafters, who then consolidated the ideas heard and understood. Visionary energy, sense of possibility, deep understanding and hope shone through from young people across the region as we developed this declaration together. We need all of these things if we are going to meet this rising tide of both challenge and opportunity. It's become crystal clear to us, and I hope to you too, that young people are not just the voices of the future, but of today. So it's time we all bring our baskets to the same table across generations to create a vision for a future of our region which will last generations, which will transcend those of us living right now. We believe an example can be taken from our ability to work as one team. We have joined, worked and grown together, all bringing our own perspectives but on the same boat and paddling in the same direction. The result of this is a youth declaration that we are proud of, which communicates the interconnectedness of our planet, our people and our economy, and which demonstrates the potential for better. We are so excited to share this with you now. One billion young people make up a third of Apex population. We put forward this declaration, our voices of our generation, demanding accountability and actions from leaders today. I'm Lee Wei, and I was a delegate for Aotearoa New Zealand in this year's Future of the Future programme. He wake Kanoa, we're all in this together. This is a turning point. We urge Apex leaders to focus on education that will build a resilient economy of the future for the future. To us, this looks like investing in accessible quality education systems and large-scale digitalisation that develops future-ready skills through focusing on enhancing digital capability and educating on sustainability and indigenous knowledge. We are nurturing future generations that are innovative, adaptive and global citizens. We urge APEC leaders to prioritise equitable outcomes for all. To ensure this happens, we must recognise and address the inequities that exist and that has been exacerbated by COVID-19, the climate crisis and worsening social disparities. Voices of those most affected must be front and centre in decision making and policy development. This includes youth, women, indigenous communities and other marginalised groups. Equal access to education, health and digital connectivity all require investment if we are to truly see equitable outcomes. We urge APEC leaders to centre wellbeing. For this to be meaningful, a focus should be on economic, social and environmental wellbeing. Measuring what matters will support APEC in encompassing this and their conversation and work. We must divest from fossil fuels. We must invest in actualising climate justice on mental wellness initiatives, leveraging modern technology solutions within our young people. This is the moment for us to be charting a path together to a better future, a reality we can feel proud to pass on. Now you have heard the voices of the future. We have been bold. We call on you to do the same. Are you listening?